Hey everyone, welcome back to the stethoscope. So this is not going to be a very long video because in this question I'll be just explaining two previously most asked questions. So hopefully I'll be able to clarify your concepts regarding these questions in this video. So let's just get started. So our first question says that an experiment was carried out to investigate gene coat color in mice. The diagram shows the result of three crosses between different mice producing three different families P, Q, and R and says what is the maximum possible number of heterozygous mice shown in the diagram. So the whole purpose of this question is to find the maximum number of heterozygous. So we need to assume as many individual as possible heterozygous. So the first thing I'm going to do is just by sort of looking at the diagram, I can tell the darker mice is dominant connection solely from the fact that you have more of these uh, because remember you can be dominant condition if you are big a big a or big a small a and here we have small a small a so uh, i'm assuming that the small a small a is the white mice and these are the black mice which kind of makes sense because you have more options of the genotype to get the black phenotype and that's what we are seeing right and we can see more black phenotypes so as we have made the initial assumption now we are going to test it so let's start with this mice we know it's black so i'm going to assume that the genotype of this mice is big a small a because remember that we want as much as heterozygous as possible and i'm also going to assume the other black mice which has made it contains big a small a now let's see if this is a reasonable assumption so in family Q, if you make these two mice together, you get a big A, small A, and again a big A, small A. And the result you have is big A, big A, big A, small A, big A, small A again, and a small A, small A. So you get a mixture of black mice and you can have some white mice in there. Or you can have all black mice because you have three options to get the black mice and that's perfectly reasonable here. As they are all black mice, so this is a reasonable assumption. Further, I'm going to assume all of these offspring in a family Q are also big A, small A again. Because we want a maximum number of heterozygous and that's also a valid assumption. Because from mating these two, we can get one big A, small A and one, two big A. So big A, small A is a possibility in this cross. So we have done that now we know the white one is therefore recessive so white one must be a small a small a and the offspring in the family q are all black now if they are all black now we know for certain that that all of them are going to be big a small a because they definitely had inherited a small a from the white mice and to be black they must have a big a small a or big a big a and a big a big a is no longer possible because you have to have a small a here so all of these mice is just big a small a now moving to the last one you have a small a small a here as well and again these black mice over here have to be a big a small a because they are going to get a uh, big a from those black mice and they are definitely going to get a small a from this white mice so therefore they are going to be a big a small a and now counting up the number of heterozygous therefore we have 4 8 10 11 12 so this is our answer so hopefully this question is now clear and makes sense it was really just a question about assuming the maximum number of mice that's heterozygous and basically testing our assumptions now moving towards our next question that says the picture shows a Siamese cat as you might have probably seen some of these extremities are dark whereas their main body the trunk is white so this type of cat has a gene which is sensitive to temperature right and then when this gene is inactive in cell the coat color is pale and when the gene is active and it produces an enzyme which causes the coat color to be darker. If this cat had grown up in a warmer environment, it is a front of face, paws and tail would be pale. So basically everything that was black essentially would just turn white and then it says the students wrote the following statement using this information. And it says of which of the statements are correct. Basically the last sentence I think is important if that uh, if they had grown up in a warm environment so let's just say it was a warm environment so you are going to have a high temperature and relatively low temperature within the cat like the blood of the cat and you'd have a kind of diffusion of heat towards the cat and it, it's mentioned that happens that this result is in it being pale and we know the pale phenotype is due to the fact that there's basically no enzyme 
and the gene is not active so the first one of the enzyme is denatured at the internal body temperature of the cat so the coat color is pale so yes this is gonna be wrong because the gene is sensitive to temperature so if you are low temperature then your gene would be inactive and here it's saying if you have a high temperature you won't have any gene activity and therefore you won't have any gene activity and you won't even have the enzyme so the enzyme won't be able to be denatured so this one is wrong so the next statement too says that the temperature of the air front of face paws and tail was cooler than the body temperature so they are darker if you remember as i mentioned before uh, if the cat is hot then it turns pale so it means if it was cool it must have been darker so it's going to be correct now statement number three says that the coat color in the siamese cat depends both gene and the environment so more or less every characteristic depends on these two factors so let's just prove it it depends on the gene because obviously if you don't have the gene for the enzyme you are not going to make this enzyme which causes pigmentation at all and it also depends on the environment because environment controls the expression of that gene so this is also correct so the right answer to this question is two and three only I hope I have cleared everything regarding these two questions because these were the questions that were mostly asked and the questions that were done wrong by the students when the quiz was taken. So if there is anything else you want me to clarify or there are any questions, so just drop down the questions in the comment below and I'll be happy to answer. Till then, take care of yourselves and good luck with your preparation.